Mark McGarry in Rochester, Minnesota. All right, contestants, congratulations on getting this far. And now we're going to find out which one of them will get the first chance to play for a million dollars. And here's how it works. In a moment, a question and four answers will appear on your screens. The one who puts those answers in the correct order, in the fastest time, will be our first player. Audience, please, uh, we need your complete silence. Thank you very much. Here comes the question. Place the following foods in the order in which they were first introduced. Spam, rice aroni, Hershey's chocolate bars, Wonder Bread. Okay, time is up. Uh, let's get the answer in the correct order, starting with the earliest. With the earliest, Hershey bars, Wonder Bread, Spam, Rice Aroni. That was the correct order. Now let's see who got it right. And who got it right in the fastest time? Mark McGarrian. Mark! Hey! Congratulations, Mark. That's terrific. You ready to win a million dollars? I'm ready. All right, let's play. Okay, Mark. Good luck. All right. Mark McGarry and our very first contestant from the great state of Minnesota. That's right. Rochester, Minnesota. Yep. As a matter of fact, it, doesn't that town come up in all the best places to live lists? Yeah, it does. It usually scores pretty well. The whole medical, Mayo Clinic thing. Yeah, what do that. you do? I'm a computer programmer. A oh. big computer firm. All right, good. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Thank you very much. Uh, shall we get started? Let's go. Your wife, uh, Sperry, is watching at home. Your little yes, daughter, Katie. Katie. And here he is, ready to play. Uh, just 15 questions away from winning $1 million. The rules, if you remember, are quite simple. The more questions you get right, the more money you win. Once you reach the $1,000 or the $32,000 level, you're guaranteed at least that much money. And to help you win as much as possible, you also have free lifelines to help you. 50-50, where the computer will take away two of the wrong answers, leaving the one correct and the one incorrect answer. We'll also ask the audience, if you'd like, where you can uh, poll our studio audience to see uh, how they feel uh, about the answer. And finally, you can phone a friend. Call anyone anywhere in America and see if they can help you out. Are you all set, Mark? Yes, I'm ready. All right, then let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? <laughs> all right, just like old times. Here, we begin, Mark, for $100. Here it comes. What is cotton candy made of? Rice, cotton, sugar, tobacco. I will go see sugar. Is that your final answer? That's my final answer. Cotton candy made of sugar? Absolutely right for $100. Here we go, $200 in an American hospital. What does the abbreviation ER stand for? Emergency room, endoplasmic room, express room, excellent room. Hmm. Gotta go emergency room A. Emergency room A, $200, final answer? Yes. Hey, you're absolutely right. It's emergency room ER, yeah. Mark, for $300, check it out. Okay. According to the well-known proverb, what city was not built in a day? Timbuktu, Venice, Rome, Sheboygan. I'm going to go Rome, see. Rome was not built in a day. Rome was not built in a day. And that's your final answer? That is my final answer. And it's a good one. Rome was not built in a day. You won $300. Good going. 12 questions away from a million bucks. Here it comes. For $500, what was the last name of the married characters played by Lucy and Desi on I Love Lucy? Was it Arnez, Ricardo, McGillicuddy, Mertz? Their name on the show. Their name on the show was Ricardo. Confident? Confident. The last name of the married characters played by Lucy and Desi on I Love Lucy is... Ricardo. Final answer? Yes. Final answer is Ricardo. 
It's the right answer. You've won $500. Good. All right, here we go for $1,000. What is the largest object in our solar system? The sun, the moon, Jupiter, Saturn. Largest object in our solar system. Of course, you've got your three lifelines intact, Mark. The sun. The sun. The sun. Final answer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He says final answer. He says the sun. He said it three times. He's right, it's the sun. Good. All right, my friend, he's won $1,000. He's going for $2,000, 10 questions away from a million bucks. We're going to see how you do when we come right back in just a moment. Mark McGarry and our first contestant as we begin our second flight of shows on this Sunday night, won $1,000. What would you do if you won the million dollars, Mark? A million bucks. I don't know. I, I have a lot of good ideas about what I might do. I might, might quit my job. All right. You won $1,000. let us uh, proceed. Now, here it comes for $2,000. Let's play. What university does President Clinton's daughter, Chelsea, attend? Columbia, Berkeley, Yale, Stanford. Um, I know she went out to California, so that would leave it between Berkeley and Stanford. And I believe she went to Stanford. So I'm going to say D. Stan Stanford. I'm saying Stanford. And that will be your final answer. Yeah, that's my final answer. Man says uh, Stanford. He's absolutely right. It's Stanford. He's won $2,000. Here it is for $4,000. What is the proper name of a newborn swan? Duckling? Signet? Polt? Nestling? Three lifelines intact. Ready if you need them. 50 50, phone a friend, go to the audience. Wow. Signet or duckling, I think. Signet or duckling. Signet B. You sure about this? Yeah. You were just torturing yourself a minute ago. Well, I'm not going to get any surer, so. You want B. Signet? Yeah. Final? Yeah. His final answer is Signet. Hey, Mark. What? You're right. Yeah. It's Signet. <laughs> All right, so for $8,000, check this one out. In the 1997 film, As Good As It Gets, what is the profession of Jack Nicholson's character, Mark? Was he a painter, doctor, writer, agent? And I remember he had all those pencils. He had organized all these pencils or something. He couldn't have been an agent because he was some sort of um, sociopath or something, so... Oh, really? I think. <laughs> Painter or writer? Um, I'm going to say writer. Okay. Sure about this? I'm pretty sure. Those pretty pencils, sure. huh? The pencils, yeah. yeah. The pencils, yeah. All right, so the final answer is writer. Yeah, that's right. He says, he says writer. 
Yeah. Yeah, you got it, yeah. writer. $8,000. All right, Mark, just seven questions away now. Let's uh, take a look at the question for $16,000. In which of the following sports do the competitors race in a building called a velodrome? Is it a luge, cycling, walking, dog racing? The velodrome. I'm pretty sure it's cycling. Final answer. Final answer. He says cycling. He's right for $16,000. You're doing great. You're we're doing just fine. just fine, and you've got your three lifelines yep. still with you. Yep. We move on now to $32,000, Mark. Here it is. Which of these U.S. state capitals is located at the highest altitude? Cheyenne, Santa Fe, Phoenix, Denver, Mile High City. It's gotta be Denver. Right? You're asking me? Yeah. <laughs> I'll let you know in a minute. <laughs> Mile so, High City, come on. All right, you're picking my, is that your final answer? Um, Santa Fe, Phoenix, Cheyenne. Yeah, I'm going Denver. You're going with Denver? Going final with answer final is answer. Denver? Yes. For $32,000. I thought it was Denver, too. It's not. I'm sorry, my friend. No. Santa Fe. Ah, oh, can you believe it? Santa Fe. But you leave here with $1,000. All right? Yep. Hey, you were a great contestant. Thank you. Thank Thanks you very, much. very much. Nice hand for Mark McGarry and everybody. Ah. Too bad. But don't go away. We've got nine contestants ready to go. We'll see who's next to play for the $1 million. So sit tight. Yeah, I know. I'll bet there were a lot of people out there in Santa Fe shouting at their television sets. It's too bad, really. He left with all his three lifelines intact. 